but a troublemaker, and I accuse you of that right here with the press here. I don't know what you're reaching for. I don't know what you want. Waddington maintained his position in questioning why the openings hadn't been advertised. Mr. Pitcherak, as long as I'm mayor here, I'm going to intercede in the hirings of people here. I was the one elected to run this city with this council. And I will not take dictation from you or anybody else in here. I want you to know that. Mr. Mayor, it's not dictation. We proceed according to the bylaws established by the corporation. We'll change the bylaws, too. I'll show you that. There's enough of this stuff been going on here now. There are people been hired here and relatives hired here without the say of counsel at all. And you know who I mean. Cut it out. Go and sit in your seat again. I don't need you even in that seat. All right. You're I'm going to call you're for it. Mr. Mayor. I, I don't think we should do this. Now listen. I, no, no. I, I, no, I, we don't. I, I, Alderman I, I, Vandalies, I'm going to call for hands on this resolution right now. We've discussed it sufficiently tonight, and we can discuss it further later. This is a serious resolution, Mr. and it's Mayor, a good Mr. Mayor. And I'm going, I'm, I'm going to vote. Well, you can call a vote all you want, Mr. Mayor, but I was on the speaker's list, if you recall, and all I right. was interrupted. I'm sorry, you, you only spoke once. Go ahead now, what do you want to say? Well, I forget. No. Oh, in other words, there's nothing to do, really. Carry on, carry on. I want to hear your guff. Go ahead. Go ahead, well, carry well, on. Well, Mr. Mayor, I think you know, these are the kinds of things that have been asked for in a report, and I think that's where, they're well, that's where they all appear. You know, Mr. Rapino, I'd like to know what you've been doing in, been doing in the last while here. You're never here, hardly. You're back and forth. You're out of order. Keep quiet. You're, you're in Toronto all the time, trying to correct the mistakes you made in Victoriaville. And the, this is going to come out in the next two weeks, and you'll have egg all over your face. And, and uh, the aldermen are going to get a new look onto what has transpired. You've made a failure of Victoriaville, and we've had to have a bunch of businessmen to come in here, and you're even trying to, are going to get a new look onto what has transpired. You've made a failure of Victoriaville, and we've had to have a bunch of businessmen to come in here, and you're even trying to retard them from doing their duty that they're not asking a nickel for. That's all I've got to say, and I, I can tell you, the last two years, what has Rapino been doing but working for others and getting his money from the lowly taxpayer here? So we won't miss him at all. We won't miss anybody. And if you were to, if you were to resign, I'd say, thank God. And we'd get along here, I'll tell you. I'd go back to the committee system, and if I had to work out of money without guys like you around here interfering and doing nothing. You, ne you never made a decision on your own since you've been here. And I'm telling you straight to your face tonight that's, that's that you're aggravated. Where's your Come on, you. Quiet. 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 You be quiet. The whole lot of you. You be quiet. Well, I'll tell you. I, I, listen, I have listened to you all night. I'm going to have my say now. But I'm finished. I've said what I want to say. You're and I meant now. every word of it. Now go ahead. Can I say something now? You bet you can. Well, I think uh, if you make accusations like that, certainly you can make accusations, but it should be done in camera. I don't think you should take any administrative officer in, in place. He, has, he can defend himself here. I can defend myself because I'm an elected person, but I don't think it's fair to, to, uh, to, to, to accuse a person like that. You, you might be 100% right. I don't care what you think, Joe. No, well, I'm just telling I'm you. I'm saying what I say. I know you hear you listen, said it. Don't you cross me again, Joe. I'm not crossing don't you. Don't cross me. I don't I'll cross you. I'll tell you, you one, one of these days, yes. I'll whip you bad. Well, Joe, I'm going to tell you. Well, you can do that. I, I will. You I damn you right would. I will. I wish you would. All right, you damn right I will. Yeah. I'll show you what I'll do with you. Your, your, worship, two words. your worship, you're saying I spoke ten times. I didn't speak once. I'm ah, trying to speak once. All right. I, I'm saying you did, and, and you're never off the floor. That's enough now. Your Worship, I, I have a right enough. to speak. I'm sorry. That's enough. That may be your opinion. That's the innuendo doesn't belong in you council. You hear me? That's, listen. Any 
personnel cut it out. problems Pakoda. should be discussed in Listen, are you going to cut it out? You want me to cut employee it? relations committee orums Pakoda. should be discussed Listen, in are you going to cut it out? You want me to cut employee it? relations committee or in corporate cut administration meeting in camera would you would you I've have the chair said, challenged i've just said it what i intended to say and i'm not taking it back thank uh, you i don't want you to take a thing back because, because you don't know what you're talking about anyway just shut up all right go ahead mr clerk mr chairman members of of council to intercede when the chairman of that particular council himself ignores the rules and uh of council and even I would say the rules of decency. I'm not ignoring so, uh, any rules. I'm using the I'm only uh, means that I see at our, uh, our behalf to, uh, to try to take a position to, to point out that I, at least as one member of this council, disapprove and would like to go on record as disproving of you it. You can go on. The press are here listening to you. Right. You're no damn good anyway, and everybody knows it. Well. All right. You're nothing but a tramp. Well, You're not well, a man like I am. Mr. Chairman, I, I'm an elected official. Yes, you sure and are. And when I put my hat in the ring, votes. when I put my hat in the ring, I, I, I expect to take that kind of thing. That's all right. You know, and I can you stand up to it. But I really feel that when you do the same sort of thing to city employees who can't fight back, that that's the act of a bully and a coward. Here, here. Could we have a recorded vote so we're really on record? I won't table it. Any one of you want to table it, table it. Table. Your Worship, you table may, I, it, may I speak to it, please? Pardon? May I speak to the certainly resolution? You may. I certainly don't agree with uh, the way you uh, proceed at times, but I disagree. I can't help it. That's no. all there okay, is. Okay, just to just it. let me People carry on. Need a pieces too. You're a grown-up. You should be able to help it. Could I have some order, please? Sure. I didn't interrupt you, uh, interrupt you, Alderman Smith. I, I know I'm getting interrupted from the chair also. I don't appreciate it. I just want to make a few comments that if anybody uh, tells me that I have to apologize, you know, that's not doing anything because you can't make a person apologize. Okay. So to suggest somebody to apologize, and he says, no, a resolution will not make that person uh, that apologize. Works. The, the resolution didn't say that. I, I thought it said that you're asking the mayor the to apologize. Uh, sorry, Mr. Uh, Chairman, a second, or the resolution says that this council apologizes for the conduct. It does not request the mayor to apologize. The council apologize for the. Council shouldn't. I, I, I wouldn't humiliate the council by asking them to apologize for my efforts. Don't worry about me. I can stand up on my own any time at all. So don't, don't come to my defense, because I don't give a damn for all of you. Remember that. Well, okay, I'm sorry, I thought it was that you're asking, okay. No, okay, let's have a vote. Resolution is moved by Alderman Smith, seconded by Alderman Johnson, that this council go on record as being opposed to the personal attacks made on Mr. Pitcherak and Mr. Rapino by Mayor Asif and that we apologize on behalf of council for any embarrassment caused to these city employees. I won't table it. But I don't, I wouldn't humiliate the council here to apologize for me. Because there's some darn good counselors here and there's some stink to high heaven. Question. Can we call Your question? Worship, you made a mistake. Okay. And we all make mistakes. 